down to one. I know. It's just... I could feel it slipping away already. Why'd you sign with Dallas, Prince? Because I wanted to win. You didn't just want to win. You wanted to prove that you weren't some lazy, entitled, stat pad and brat. You want to stop this series from slipping away? Be the player you know you are, not the one they say you are. Dad, I am trying. Don't try. Do it. Empty the tank and make life miserable for LeBron. Do the thing they said you never do and sacrifice for the team. Doesn't matter if you score zero points. You're going to win this thing by stopping LeBron. It's that simple. It's not that simple. It's not easy. Look, I know you're trying, son. But it's time to find another gear. You got to go out there and take what's yours. I'm telling you right now, that trophy is yours. You just got to want it bad enough. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I believe in you. Straighten it out, you got it. I'm standing here with former NBA top guy, Truck, the proud father of Prince, a possible X Factor in this year's NBA's finals. Truck, how do you feel? I feel good, Larry, thanks. Over the course of your career, you had front row seats to a number of deep playoff runs. Any advice you have for Prince heading into tonight's game? Well, it ain't too much I can tell him that he don't already know, but yeah, I shared some things with him. What did you share? Just mostly have confidence. You know, I just go out there and do the things he's capable of, and he can definitely help Dirk and Jason and them even things up. But thank you so much, Truck, for your time. Now let's kick it back to our announcing team for tonight's game. Major buzz around downtown Dallas. The basketball world is centered here. All right. So we are got another family flashback game. All right, it says hold LeBron James under 10 points and win the game. It says hold LeBron under 10, score 20 and win the game. Score 30 and win the game. So I got scored 30 and hold LeBron under 10. Oh, my God. That's going to be hard. But you know what? I think we can do it. Coming to you from Dallas, Texas. It's game four of the 2011 NBA Final. Miami leading this series two games to one. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan, joined by former coach Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. The talk around town, Mike. How will the Mavericks even out this series? It starts with Dirk. He is the man on this team. The Mavs need a big game from him. I think Prince is the second most important player on this team. Guarding LeBron and limiting him is a big goal for Prince. A very lofty goal indeed, Mike. And for Miami Clark, yes, they are leading the series, but how much pressure is on the Heat? Kevin, all of the pressure is on the Heat. Before they played one minute together, their big three, LeBron, Bosch, and Wade, proclaimed they'd win multiple championships. So it's time to put up or shut up. I feel like Dallas is playing with house money in this situation. After years of losing with the Clippers, Prince decided to sign with Dallas. He was a 20-point-per-game scorer in Los Angeles, but he joined the Mavs to win a title. Good move by Prince. He's three wins away from a ring. And for the Miami Heat and their coach, Eric Spolstra, their five, 13-year veteran Mike Bibby runs the point. Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, the superstar wing duo. All-star Chris Bosh at the four, and Joel Anthony is the center. And the winner for a hungry Mavericks team looking to even this series. Their head coach is Rick Carlisle. Ten-time All-Star Jason Kidd is at the point. The other guard spot, Prince, the defensive stopper. Do-it-all athlete Sean Marion is the wing. 2007 MVP Dirk Nowitzki plays the power forward. And the seven-footer Tyson Chandler in the middle. One of the many storylines tonight, Prince trying to win a title change the narrative around his career. 
And for more, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Prince's decision to come here was a bit of a surprise, giving up scoring for a chance at a ring. Of course, Prince came into the NBA as a high school player. There was tons of hype around him, and Prince finally seems to have found his place in the league, and that's great to see. Guys? Good stuff, David. That's a Hall of Fame report if I've ever heard one. You know Mike Prince with a huge opportunity tonight. Fair or not, when we look back at someone's career, we always ask, did you win a ring? And for Prince, winning this series and the title will drastically improve how he's looked at. If Prince is scoring the ball, the Mavs are in great shape. And Clark, of course, Prince's dad, Truck, was an NBA player. And by the way, probably my favorite, but there could be a third generation NBA player in this family as well. Wouldn't that be interesting? It sure would be, Kevin. Prince's son, MP, he's still quite young now, hasn't even started high school yet. But Prince was telling us that he can already tell that MP is a special talent. MP loves to shoot with his dad already showing serious promise. Keep an eye on that one. The Mavericks leading, but Trey, good in the assist to kid. Bryant's got eight points. And that was an instinctual play from Prince. Had his hand ready to fire on the catch. The matchup everyone is tracking tonight, Mike. Prince defending the great LeBron James. What a challenge. Wow. But Prince is more than up to the task. LeBron's size, athleticism, and skill make him so difficult to check. It's a tough assignment, but Prince is willing to do the work. Prince with it. Now Anthony defending. Out to Marion. Dallas moving the ball around. Lock at six. Here's Bryant. A shot that time, not on target. Baj with some nice D. And here are the Heat, trailing by two. Wade surveying the D. Here's the floater. The Mavericks pull it in. And here's Bryant outside. Rebound by Mario Chalmers. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Wade outside. There's a bucket for Dwayne Wade. So consistent these playoffs. How about double figures every game, scoring about 25 per. A few 30-plus point nights as well. Wade almost always delivers in the clutch. You know, Mike, we knew so much about LeBron before he even entered the pros. The expectations have been insane. How much would a title mean to LeBron James? Things had gotten untenable in Cleveland. This is why he came to Miami, to earn a ring. If he can get a title, you're talking about a player who has accomplished everything at 26 years old. Here's Wade. And two free throws coming up on it. Making a change here. Ryan's checked in. And then for Miami, Ilgowskis is checked in for Joel Anthony. Aslan comes in for Bosch. And Mike Bibby is subbed in for Mario Chalmers. And Mike, obviously, the talk of the NBA this year, this Miami Heat team, the Heatles, as they're being called, boy, did they struggle a bit out of the gates. Starting the year 9-8, and eight, but they figured some things out. Won 20 of their next 21 games to get to 30-9. and nine. And they have cruised in the playoffs, losing just three games in their three Eastern Conference rounds. Now here's Prince. 11 points in the game. That gives them the lead. Bryant's got 13. Rick Carlisle has to love what Prince is giving them offensively. Wait against Kidd. Inside. Haslam with it. He's working on Nowitzki. Pass to Bibby. Over Terry. And again, it's the Heat missing. Now here's Novitsky. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. Passes it to Prince. No good on the three. You know, you want.
Watch Prince guarding LeBron tonight, Clark. His dad, Truck, you know him well, also drew some very tough assignments over his career. Yeah, I'd certainly say. Truck checking Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan during his career. Of course, they're really different players. Truck was a grinder entering the league after going in the third round. Prince, a 2002 lottery pick out of high school. So a big oh, yeah. difference there. But defense I'm 15 points away like from runs going. in the DNA. And LeBron hasn't scored the yet. Making the shot. Haslam a screen on kill. Here's Wade. Here's Haslam. The basket good off the assist from Wade. All you gotta do is win this game and LeBron hasn't scored today. Opening up the floor for his teammates. Kid kicks to Prince. Nowitzki with a screen on LeBron. And it's Prince penetrating. It was the pick setting up that slam. A oh, great team ball. Yeah, everyone on the same page. Kid against Wade. Elgowskis is screen on kid. Here's Wayne. A rangy, active defender. Love watching Chandler make an impact on this end. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. It's Dallas leading by three. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. We're set for the second half. It's the NBA Finals, game number four. Thanks for joining us. The Heat trail by three. And Brent's coming here to Dallas in the offseason. Changing his game, Mike. How do you think that's turned out for him? From his days with the Clippers, he had a reputation as someone who couldn't win. But playing in the finals has proven that was wrong. Prince has shown a willingness to take a step back offensively, evolve as a player. Now here's Kidd. Nowitzki outside. Bryant outside. Shoots over James. Another miss by Prince. LeBron passes to Wade. Now the pass to Bibby. Rush with it. Back to Bibby. Good ball movement here by the Heat. And Wade with the bucket. Such an elite player. Amongst two guards, only Kobe is better. D. Wade is playing at an incredible level. And Clark, how about the job that Prince is doing on LeBron James? I love it, Kevin. He's giving LeBron fits, making everything hard for him. Prince is showing everybody he's a winner. Got to try to keep pace with Nowitzki now. Once he sets that pick, he's looking to get the ball back with a hard cut. Wade outside. Anthony sets the pick for Wade. Trying to find Chen. He's got it now. Prince with it. He's picked up by James. Nailed from three-point land. Now it's a four-point Maverick lead. Into the second half, Prince outscoring LeBron. A huge effort from Prince. Of course, one big story tonight is the health of Dirk Nowitzki. D.A., what did you hear at halftime? Well, I was told during shoot-around today, Dirk was barely able to speak, coughing any time he tried to talk. Now, Mavs doctors are trying to break the fever. Rick Carlisle told me they'll get him some rest whenever they can afford to. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, D.A. Clark will see how they navigate that. It'll be tough. It will be tough, Kevin, because you never know how a player is going to be able to perform under those circumstances. But I will tell you this. Oftentimes, when a player is not at his best physically, psychologically, and mentally, the concentration level goes up, as does the performance. Now, Bryant following the three-point attempt by Mike Bibby. Prince's shot is good. What a job on both ends by Prince. More points than LeBron, and winning this matchup is huge for the Mavs. Timeout called the Heat. Well, these timeouts so big for these players to collect themselves. Drink some Gatorade. Hydrate. Get that little bit of rest. It's so important to have the energy in the fourth quarter, and that starts with timeouts like this making sure you get your fluids because you know you'll lose pounds of water weight during the game. The only thing missing from Dirk Nowitzki's trophy case, a title. 
2006, the Mavs lose in the finals. 2007, after winning MVP in 67 games, Dirk and the Mavs got bounced from the first round. Those two failures have inspired Nowitzki. He is determined to will his team to victory. And Miami has possession. The Mavericks making the shot. Wade against Kidd, and Jason Kidd picks up a foul. That's his first foul. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Miami. Second team foul. In for the Heat. Number 15. Here's Wade. He's got 14. Shot clock at five. Going inside. Here's Anthony. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Clark, remember, during the 1990s, the Mavericks made the playoffs just one time. But the selection of Dirk Nowitzki back in 1998 has transformed this franchise. Clearly it has, Kevin. This is their 11th straight year in the playoffs. Dirk leading the Mavs to their first finals in 2006, then becoming the first MVP in team history in 2007. Now, here's Wade after the miss from Bryant. No good from Bosch. Bryant looking over the floor. Rebounded by Anthony. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for Miami. Floats it up for Jane. Here's the lob. And LeBron flies through the air. And man, LeBron's taking things into his own hands with that alley -oop. Really impressive. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. The defense looks helpless trying to contain them in the open floor, and they've continued to exploit this advantage. You know, we've got to talk about how they've continued to force turnovers and turn those turnovers into points. They came out aggressive, and they've not let up. Mike, here we are looking at the Mavericks roster. Lots of veterans looking for their first ever championship. Obviously, Dirk, who has been close. 37-year-old Jason Kidd, one of the best point guards ever. Prince, who has been in the league a long time. Former All-Stars like Marion and Peja. This is a team of guys looking for their first. Now, here is Miller. For the miss from Bryant. And... Timeout. And so it's Dallas with Prince's shot is good. And Dallas leading in the fourth quarter. Clark Prince is doing an incredible job on James tonight. How about holding the king to single digits? Prince has given everything he has tonight, proving he's definitely a team player, a guy willing to do whatever it takes to win. That's good, and it's Nowitzki with the assist. Prince has got 35. Ever since halftime, they have been parked out at the arc, dropping bomb after bomb. And who can blame them? When you're hitting like this, you got to just keep it going. Now here's James. James connects from deep. That's a big turnaround right there. LeBron answering right back with the three. He knows momentum is in the balance, and he wants it to swing his way. Nowitzki outside. Nowitzki sets a screen for Bryant, and it's Marion in the corner. Back to Prince. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. So much skill. D has to play Prince tight. Drew a foul that time. Prince. And both free throws good for Prince. The Heat trail by 15. And there's the call on Prince. That's his first foul. First team foul. On the wing, James. Defended by Prince. Good ball movement here by the Heat. LeBron powering inside. That's as good as you can defend LeBron inside, and it's still not good enough. Mavericks leading by 13. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. 
James against Bryant. Six to shoot. The dish to Marion. And here's Kidd from the arc. And it's Wade with the rebound. The Heat trail by 13. James looking it over. To the middle. And it's Bosch in the corner. LeBron outside. Feeds it to Anthony. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Chandler. Wade kicks to Bibby. Bosch passes to Anthony. Now here's Wade. Guarded by Marion. Back to Anthony. Pass to Bibby. Kicked by Anthony from outside the arc. Great work ethic from Kidd on defense. Putting in the sweat to shut down the shooter as best as he can. Chandler with the screen on LeBron. Here's Bryant. Plays it up and banks it in. Prince has got 39. The offense very impressive tonight, creating a lead that was too large to overcome. Executed the game plan perfectly. It's off for James. He hasn't been on his scoring game tonight. Credit Prince. He's been all over LeBron, not allowing anything easy. Bosh. Tough break there. Shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Prince against James. Bryant with it. Just five on the clock. And it's Marion in the corner. His three pointers off the mark. Here's the puzzle. The Mavericks even this series at two wins apiece. And the big story, Prince holding LeBron James under 10 points. Prince was in LeBron's head by the end of this game. Sticking to him, really giving him everything he could handle. You talk about rewriting your legacy. We're seeing that with Prince in this series. Like we are indeed, and Dallas looking to avenge that finals loss to Miami five years ago, Clark. A step closer now to the title. Well, it's a three-game series now, fellas. Game five here, then game six, and perhaps game seven in Miami. This is anybody's series. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. So long, everyone. Prince, over here. Never question in the back. Prince, right here for you. Right here. Right in the back. Thank you, sir. Prince. People are calling this one of the greatest individual defensive efforts in the NBA Finals history. Keeping LeBron James under 10 points for the first time in 433 consecutive contests. How do you respond to that? Defense is a team-wide thing. And you don't stop somebody like LeBron James all by yourself. I was just doing my best to play my part. Prince, 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 Prince right here, right here. Right in the back. Do you think you've unlocked the secret to slowing down LeBron? <laughs> no. Uh, someone like LeBron, he's going to bounce back. You just got to do your best and pray that he misses some shots. He usually doesn't. So what do you think was the key to tonight's victory, if not for your defense? Dirk. Yeah, fighting through his illness the way he did. He gave us that spark. He's the leader of this team. And seeing him gut through something the way he did, man, that's inspirational. Well, it inspired me, that's for sure. Prince, 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 Prince. If you want to be remembered, you got to win titles. Nobody cares about how many points you score in the regular season if you can't back it up when it counts. Yeah, you don't have to be humble like I did. <laughs> you know the game's bigger than you. But if you want to be in that greatest of all time debate, you got to stack championships all the same. Hey, I'm working on it. Hey, keep working. You're going to get there. You got twice the natural ability I had. Plus, you got the maturity to know how to use it. Wait a minute. When you start getting all lovey-dovey on me, Pop, what's with all the compliments? You got plenty of hugs growing up. Don't act like I was some drill sergeant. <laughs> hey, you weren't a kindergarten teacher either, though. That's because I saw greatness in you, and I knew if you didn't fulfill that greatness, you'd regret it for the rest of your life. But, hey, I wasn't no stage mom either, if you weren't <laughs> about this life.
I would have backed off. I would have been just as happy if you were an electrician or a lawyer, whatever. But, son, you had that dog in you. Always have. Now you got the opportunity to be the best basketball player who ever lived. So I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get there. That's a promise I made you a long time ago. And I ain't never gonna break it.